Hi, my name is John Clarkson. I'm a technical writer with the Link Product Group, and in this video I'll show you how you can use C Sharp code and the model API in the Link 2010 SDK to sign an application into the Link client when the Link UI is not suppressed. I created a simple application using code presented in the walkthrough topic authored by my colleague John Austin, which I'll show you here. It's in the MSDN library. and open up servers and enterprise development down to link link 2010 and API concepts and in that section there's a topic sign in to link where John's authored uh, instructions and procedures and there's lots of sample code also so take a look at that for more information. Let's take a look at the application. You can see Link Client is not signed in. I'll enter my password and then click the button and Link signs in. So let's take a look at the code in the application. First the XAML page and I've got a button and a password box control. And that's just about it. Then in the C Sharp page, first of all, notice that the application template added a reference to link.model, and I added the appropriate using statement. And there's also a reference to system.config and a using statement for that. And then in the click event, I used the configuration manager class, which is why I needed a reference to system.config. And I get the user URI and the domain name, and I also get the password from the password box control on the form and then I instantiate the client model, client, excuse me, client model class and call the sign in method and you can see I pass in the user credentials as parameters and in the class constructor I get the link client object and check to see if the client is in suppressed mode which of course it isn't and so this code won't be used and also you can see here I register an event handler for the state changed event and then down on the sign in method, if the client is not signed in, in this try block, I call the begin sign in method, which takes my user credentials as parameters along with the client state and a callback method. And aside from that, there's a single event handler for the state changed event, which just posts a message. And there are two callback methods one's for the begin initialize method, and the second one's for the begin sign in method, where we check for success call the end sign in method and return the thread to the caller. And that's it. So going forward, watch for the code listing, which should appear soon here on the uh, MSDN samples gallery, where we've got lots of uh, code samples relating to link. So be sure to take a look at that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.